Hello, folks, and welcome back to East, the Ark of Nepishtim, where we finally get to finish off the Limewater Cave. The Limewater Cave did inflict uh, one more casualty, though, my old microphone. Thankfully, I managed to get a new one in relatively short order. And, of course, at the end of the cave is nothing. There is no way through. Well, there is one way through, but it's not at all. You know, three, two, one. Oh yeah! That's right, Dogi has returned to East. After an unfortunate absence in East 5, Lost City of Sand. Here to act with total disbelief at unexpected things whenever it is required. Is this real life or is this fantasy? Ha! Okay, Dogi does know a thing or two about being savvy. Uh, why would you ever doubt at all, Dogi? You know, apart from that time where he got locked up in a prison with no escape? Or when he was trapped by a cave-in? Or, well, and he fell into an exitless basement... twice? Come and see and have a look, the world's only redhead, Tenji Agander. For certain definitions of coming ashore, of course. Eh, uh, anything involving Adol and Terra, Adol's gonna take guff from Terra. And here is her pirate dad, Captain Laddock. Just the usual at all stuff. Oh, yeah, like at all wasn't going to adventure. Good call there. Plus, Ladok can make use of the map Raba made for us. Being trapped after uh, being in mortal danger sounds like Raba to me. Yeah, the Romans are just hanging around for one reason or another. Guess they like the climate? Hey, your mast looks just fine from uh, out here, unless you, like, used to have three of them. That's right, Adol's got connections. He's the man who knows people. Yeah, for some reason, I always forget to visit Dogi and Raba at Raba's house, and unfortunately, this time is no exception. Yeah, 
Yeah, like Terra would leave without at all. That just will not happen. Now there's something that I want on this boat. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that before. The front mast was wrecked. <laughs> uh, don't worry, old pirate dude. What you call hell, at all calls home. In any case, we got some booze, which we will need. Pirate nerd! I don't think even Adol knows how he survived. Anyway, ironically, we will be needing that booze in order to cure a drinking problem. Are you sure a boat is such a good idea after everything that has happened so far? And now, we're back at Port Remorge without having to trek through anything. You're not supposed to engage in legitimate trade. Okay, what's up, Laddock? is not a drinker even under the worst Limewater Cave circumstances. Right, Laddock. Generous drinker. Oh, I accidentally talked to him. Now he's going to poem at us. And he's not even Rhea, so... I just can't take it. But we found the gold tabula. your money. There's something much more valuable we can get uh, through the proper use of this booze. As for other practical matters, though, we will be buying a ton of healing items. The blue potions are for the next boss, and the wildfowl meat is for what comes after the next boss. You'll see why that's important later. Hey, Pickard Man, what's up? You know, considering Leav, that is a pretty big compliment.
In any case, we will be upgrading Glorante and Erisil. Both of them will be needed for the next sequence. In any case, time to go back to the Retta Village. Here we go. Boom! What's up over here, people? Since everyone else who knows me is accounted for, it's only one person. One person who could be visiting the chief. In case everyone's busy with the festival thingamajig. Oh yes. You know, someone, some historian who's watching this is probably shaking it, his or her head right now, and it might even be me. But, you know how the law of equivalent exchange works. In order to cure a drinking problem, you have to make another one worse. In that way, the balance of nature is maintained. Contents of strength, huh? Well, think about it. Though, Adol is having his strength tested enough during this uh, tropical vacation already. Real charmer there, guys. an outsider who's a jerk. Good of you to come. Maybe you can chase out this anti-hero. Guys being helpful? Inconceivable! Make yourself at home. I'm going to leave my home while you're here. It's just my imagination. Oh, that's nice. It's nice that things are able to happen when we're not around. And I believe this is the third cap of water that you can get in the game. That's right, the Rudda actually know how to fix their ancient stuff on their own. None of this lost ritual stuff. successful, and we didn't even need an orchestra.
Don't worry, the stat buffs you gave me are enough. No problem, we just found it adventuring. And it still works, too! Meanwhile... You can't rush archaeology or linguistics! They signify that something terrible is going to happen. Like everything else in ancient ruins. looks away for one second. Just one. The stupid has accelerated to maximum velocity. I don't think we'll be able to stop it. No, it is a very big deal and it is everything and you are not fine. I get that you don't want to cause at all undue stress. I have no idea where I was going with that. I think the rest of you can complete that thought. Okay, we're back in Port Remorge. Now, that locket we got for uh, selling booze to the natives actually belongs to this guy. for doing the booze thing properly is the lucky coin, which increases Adol's critical hit rate. It's up to you whether you want it, but it can be worthwhile, you know, considering what it does, and how powerful critical hits are in this game. Now, to get to Zemeth Sanctum, we will actually have to trek all the way back through the ruins of Amnesia. So see you at the end of that. BAM! Well, this is terrible. They're named the same as the swords. You know, guys, if you told anyone what was going on, they might have believed you.
You know what, I'm willing to spot the fairies that one. Oh no, it wasn't Adol's fault. Adol has already been duped about that sort of thing before. It's not gonna happen twice. Robin knows what's up as usual. He's right to have a pretty bad feeling about this. The master of those fairies is on his way here. In case, as usual, we cannot use the wing. So we have to step back into this stupid dungeon. And in any case, next time on E6, the Ark of Nepishtim, the Romans have arrived. I will be seeing you then, and bye.